David Gray, and it's been way too long since I've done a backpacking trip in a video. I tried to put something together after the July Wind River Range trip to take place in you know August or September, but just really never got any traction on it. Now we find ourselves in October, perfect fall weather, and I'm taking advantage of it to get out for a quick local uh, overnight backpacking trip with the dogs. plan is we're going to do a quick overnight around the Tecumseh Trail, one of my favorite trails in Indiana. We're going to park at the Bear Lake Dam Trailhead parking lot, which is a little southeast of Martinsville, Indiana, and then we're going to hike on out to the Fox Den Shelter, where I've stayed a number of times in the past. It's probably about four miles. Enjoy the campfire and the wood life for one night, and then hike on back to the car tomorrow morning. Jaden is now 16 years old, and his back legs continue to get a little more weak every day, uh, but he is still able to handle our three-mile daily walks that we do at Worth Park in Westfield, Indiana, so that tells me he'll probably be able to handle this just fine, but I don't know how many more he has in him, and as we go through the winter, I'm not sure that he's going to be able to do any more hikes with me starting next year, so I thought what I would do with this video is do it as a little bit of a night out in the woods, and then also a little bit of a tribute to Jade, and I'm planning on weaving in some of the memories that we've had from all the trips that we've taken over the years. He's been with me since the very beginning back in uh, 2010 on the Peninsula Trail, and I don't know how many trips we've done together, but it's done, been quite a few. Yeah. This one may be the last one, it may not be, but uh, we're going to do a little backpacking video and a little bit of a tribute to Jade. And with that, let's get on down to the Bear Lake Dam parking lot and get this hike started. Actually pretty amazing we're in like uh, late October and as you can see the leaves really haven't started changing colors yet so not gonna be much of a fall foliage tour I'm afraid on this one but uh, still a beautiful day I've done a few backwoods moony hikes in Indiana and this one certainly classifies as way up there on the list of backwoods boomy hikes oh man we are uh, back there in Indiana bit of a twisty, curvy dirt road out in the middle of nowhere in Indiana. Uh, this is the Bear Lake Dam. Yeah, it's Bailey. Here, hold. Okay. Watch where you step. Bailey. Go in the sun, right here. Oh. <gasps> oh my gosh! She looks like a little gopher. A little bit, like when I put clothes on. Aww. Oh, the stick thing. Uh -oh. <laughs> Yay, Jane's got a playmate. Oh, Rosie. Look at that tail. <laughs> Look at the butt. <laughs> oh. Jeez, this awesome. is wild. Go in there, Bailey. <laughs> hmm. I guess she's an acquired taste. Okay, I made it to the trailhead, and this is definitely one of those spots where you're thinking. I wonder if the car's going to be okay when we get back. The Tecumseh Trail uh, goes that direction. We're actually going to be going this way. 
but it comes down from that big hill on the other side. This is actually one of my favorite stretches of the entire Tecumseh Trail, which is a 42 mile long stretch. So. Pretty little spot, not a lot of color in the leaves right now, but uh, certainly a glorious fall day to do some hiking in the woods. We are geared up and ready to do some hiking. And when I say we are geared up, it's me. <laughs> Notice Bailey does not have her normal pack on that she usually wears. That's because she's starting to have some rear leg issues just like Jade and she's got hip dysplasia. So her hip bones are kind of misshapen. Thought I'd save her the burden so I've got <laughs> all the doggy stuff with me. Add a few extra pounds to my pack but uh, we're ready to go. Let's get this hike going. This is Bear Lake. Pretty little spot. The Tecumseh Trail actually goes straight across the dam. I think you can see the blaze right in the middle there. And then up that hill, which is definitely a memorable hill. We are uh, on our way down to the Peninsula Trail on Lake Monroe for what will hopefully be our first overnight backpacking trip. Jaden is unbelievably excited about the opportunity to hike today. <laughs> well, we made it to the uh, parking lot. There's the pack. He's uh, figured it out. <laughs> uh, this is in the category of uh, don't say I never share. <laughs> what do you think, puppy? Jaden. Do you like that? <laughs> Jaden trying to get the last little bit of. Uh, Tex-Mex taco burrito. Well, we are now hiking. This is the trail from the Jackson Road Trailhead over to the trail. <laughs> Jaden's putting the brakes on. Well, we've reached a bit of a dilemma. Jaden's sitting here with his pack and his booties wondering <laughs> How am I going to get across that bridge? You could help me, puppy. <laughs> well, that is uh, Louisville, Kentucky. We're at about uh, mile 9.7, I think. First campsite on the Knobstone Trail. We're at mile 10.85. While well, I lit a little tiny fire. Uh, morning of day number two. We survived the night. No witches, no Blair witches. Let's get this day started, pup. He doesn't like the footing with these booties on. They don't want this day to start easy. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Not a bad day for hiking, is it? This is what they throw at you. Well, I thought this was a little green stick, but uh, he's not. Ooh. Well, we made it to our uh, second night camp. Absolutely beautiful spot. This is for Jaden. <laughs> Go ahead, chew it up. <laughs> the jaws. Had a great day and uh, a great trip. Well, we got about a quarter of a mile to go. I think that's where the car is, way up there. They're killing us on the last climb here. There's the car. Oh, we made it. Well, we made it to the uh, to the trail. It is smoking hot. We are geared up and ready to go. Jaden's really hot, so Christian's carrying his pack again. Jaden is happy. Christian is happy. Because we've arrived at Camp 6. I think we wore my dog out. Jaden's having issues here. So we're putting the booties on him. <laughs> First time in a while. Been the recipients of some amazing trail magic. Jaden was starting to have some very serious issues with his feet and we started getting into a little bit of a serious situation there. It wasn't exactly the way we expected to get here, but we're back at the car. <laughs> well, we're not off to a great start. I'm pretty sure this is the trail because I see a blaze up there that looks like it's been painted over. So I'm wondering the trail actually comes down from up there, top of the dam, 
and up that hill, so I'm wondering if they've rerouted the trail. We're gonna make our way on the old trail, if we can figure out how to get through here. There's, there's, there's some thorny vines crossing the trail here. Well, this is definitely the trail. There's a blaze, but uh, <laughs> ain't many people been out here. There used to be a bridge. Maybe that's why they rerouted it. There was a bridge down here. Man, oh man, this is like kind of impossible to get through, so we're gonna go find a different way. Well, I guess if I would have been paying attention, I would have saved myself a lot of pointless up and down. <laughs> They've obviously routed the trail right across the dam and then down the road, which is what we should have done in the first place. Change going a little slow. <laughs> well, you don't know where we're going. But yeah, we finally found the trail again, so we're back on familiar territory. This is what we find ourselves in, right out of the gate and south out of Bear Lake, nifty little hill, just to get the old heart beating. I remember all of this. I've been here many, many, many times. But things doing okay. Well, so far, so good. We're doing it. Reach the top of that little hill, and then you get a ridge walky sort of thing. Thankfully, catch your breath. After the ridge walky thing, we've got this. And a long downhill, sweeping downhill, and then it immediately crosses a creek and then right up the other side over there. There's a lot of up and downs in this section, but man, is it peaceful. In the Jaden should have a field day with this. Now this would make for some good video. Jaden! 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 Wow, how did he do that? <laughs> Jade, come. I was right, it did make for some good video. <laughs> We're hiking <laughs> on the red dirt trail north of uh, Steamboat. We're in the middle of this aspen grove. We've been climbing non-stop for the first two and a half miles. Jaden heard running water. <laughs> He's been really hot. Jaden is feeling good right now. We're done for the day. And uh, we've got snow. The dog is having a blast. What's this? <laughs> He's cooling off. <laughs> I think Jaden is happy with our choice of campgrounds. Well, we reached a little bit of an interesting thing here. <laughs> we got a few stream crossings to do that we didn't know about. So we took our shoes off, we got our camp shoes on, we rolled our pants up. I cannot tell you how cold that water is. We're driving up. Forest Service Road number 490 going up to do Hans Peak, which is, oh my gosh, look at this. <laughs> Jaden's not quite sure what we're doing here. Why are you guys driving on this really nasty road? That's where we're going. <laughs> that looks way up there. The trail's now getting a little trickier to follow. <sighs> James <laughs> having a ball. We're kind of on the home stretch here. You can see the rock cairns mark the way. We're at the final home stretch here. Christian's kind of on the uh, edge of the world there. <laughs> Pretty neat, huh? Well, Christian just took the uh, easy way down, as don't you can do see. It. No, don't do it again. You're going to end up sliding into those rocks. All right, well, at least we'll. Get the carnage on videotape, I guess. Jaden says, I want to try that. Come on, Jaden. Uh oh. <laughs> that wasn't such a good idea, Jaden. <laughs> Jade. No, Jade, stay. <laughs> no, buddy, no more. Oh, <laughs> get the water bottle, Jaden. <laughs> oh, having too much fun on Hans Peak.
Well, we made it to the Three Forks Trailhead. Well, we are on our way. Jaden got his pack all screwed. I'll fix it, but we're we're having fun. Just getting started. Jaden says, "Can I try some?" It's not a bad setting, huh? Well, I think we are almost up to Blue Lake. This is what we find ourselves in. Christian's exploring for uh, a campsite. Well, they've made their way most of the way around the lake. Well, we're doing a day hike on a Continental Divide Trail. We're heading up there, I think. Jaden always coming back, make sure I'm okay. Well, Jaden is uh, in Nirvana here. We're taking a short break. But look at the scenery. Check this out. Look what we're hiking in. Doing some bushwhacking. Well, this is the end of our bushwhacking hike. Getting ready to head out up towards Conejos Peak. Well, this is what we're hiking in. That's where we're heading, the far peak there. Well, Christian found us our camping spot for the night. Right on the northernmost one of the Twin Lakes. Well, this is the uh, lazy time. My faithful companion protects me even when I'm going to the back. Well, we're on our way to Conejos Peak. Well, I think, I think that's where we're heading. Well, I wasn't sure we ever would, but we made it to the summit. <laughs> well, Christian said he was going to set up the tarp. This is what he did, so I guess I can't get underneath it with him. Well, here's the scene. It's really peaceful, with the exception of the thunderstorms that are everywhere. <laughs> Jaden is very tired. Right, here's the bottom. And, uh, See the blazes over there on the tree. And this is a creek. Looks sort of like a road. <laughs> it is in fact a creek and it's the first time I think I've ever been here when there was absolutely no water in it. So that's a little lesson for you if you're ever hiking in Indiana in uh, the fall, especially fairly late fall, is um, all of these creeks are usually bone dry. So don't count on any of them for water, which makes me wonder the one I'm counting on <laughs> for water at the base of the shelter. I've never seen that one dry. If that one's dry, we might be working on plan B because there's no water anywhere around there. I wasn't, I've never, I've never seen this creek actually be dry. So that's a little ominous sign. So we'll see what we get to when, we, when we're at the shelter. But uh, hopefully we'll have some water there. Otherwise, we might be making a long day hike. <laughs> there's another one up here in a little bit. Hopefully it'll have a little water in it or wait for this next one, which isn't too far. and We'll find some water there, hopefully. There's the next hill we get to go up, and that's the one we just came down. That's what uh, this stretch of the Tecumseh is, just kind of like a little roller coaster. Up and down. There's a little water here. That's a good sign. And doggies found some up there. That's good. So we got a little water. Maybe a little hard for perspective, but that is one ginormous tree. There's some big ones in this area. I don't know. It's probably not, it's not first growth tree, but it's... It's pretty old, it's been there a while. You can see it in the background there. I remember the first time I came to this bridge, it's like, who the heck put this big branch right out in the middle of nowhere? Another big landmark on the Tecumseh Trail. And I remember this little, there's the trail there. And that's the road we're gonna cross here in just a little bit. This is the uh, Comanche Venable Trailhead. There's the trail we're, we're hiking. We're starting on the Venable Trail up there and then come back on the Comanche Trail. Let's get it started. Hey, <laughs> 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 
heading up there. Found a nice little spot here. Trying to yogi a little beef jerky. You guys happy to be taking a break? We have camp all set up. Babies first. Part of my thumb is missing. He's preparing his nest. Here we go. Ah. Not a bad day for hiking, huh? About five miles down to the car, I think, and then we'll head up to Buena Vista for our next stop on this backpacking tour. Heading down. This is where we're going. Is that nice and cold? Ah, we're back to the trailhead. Always a nice sight. Well, we are hiking. Now we found a little stream. Uh oh, Bailey. Don't get washed away. <laughs> kind of a neat little area. The pack doesn't seem to be slowing Bailey down. You're getting those mosquitoes. <laughs> Pretty impressive storm over Mount Yale. Just coming up over Mount Yale there. <laughs> well, we're packed up and ready to go. Now we're doing the switchbacks up to Brown Pass. Well, that is the view up to Brown Pass. Just hitting the top of Brown's Pass. Big marmot doesn't seem to be too happy that we're here. Well, we're heading down to. Uh, Brown's cabin. Didn't think we'd be doing it. Oh, this should be interesting. <laughs> Bailey wants a piece of the action. We're making our way up the trail to Cranky Lake. The weather is deteriorating. That's where we started and it's still getting rained on. Uh, we call that motivation. Here we are way up above tree line, right on the Continental Divide. That's the trail way down there. Well, we're on top of the world up here, aren't we? Here's the view down the other side. The dogs didn't want to wait for any liquid form of water. A little glissading. Come on guys, why don't you get a drink? We have found our home for the night. For now, we're just kind of lounging around, recovering from the day. Jaden hangs with me, Bailey hangs with Christian. This is the end of the uphill for this trip. Jaden's cooling off. Oh, uh, here comes the pest. <laughs> the old geese found a little bit more water. Yeah, it's on a little reroute here. You can see the little pink tape. And that's because that bridge seems to have taken it on the chin. <laughs> kind of hard to tell, but it's kind of at an angle and doesn't look real stable. I think you had a little bit of a flood go through here. We're heading up that way in the deep woods. Well, that last bridge may have been a little unstable. This one looks like it took it on the chin even worse. This used to be all the deep wood stuff, just like what we just went through. 
like this here. Everything around here was like that before. You can see how many trees they've cleared out. Some sort of a sign up there, probably talking about the logging. Pretty nice day in the woods in the fall in October, isn't it? That's one way to put lipstick on a pig from a logged out area. <laughs> Interesting political spin on it. Young forest habitat demonstration area. This is where we are and you can see what the rest of the Yellowwood State Forest looks like. Uh, good way to put a nice spin on it. Well, after that, uh, where the two bridges were, then you go up uh, in a little cleared open spot from the logging, you go up a pretty severe hill. And once you get to the top of that, you've got this long ridge walky sort of thing, which is really pleasant. I, I think this was from, this was the reroute from the logging that took place, because I don't remember the original trail having this long of a stretch, but it's kind of almost like a forest service road. Pretty pleasant after the climbing and relatively open. It's a gorgeous day to be walking in the woods. We're almost to the shelter, and this is our water source. <laughs> we got a nice little puddle there, so we'll be able to find it. And once I let the dust settle from the dogs contaminating our water source, that's probably where we're gonna get water from, but the shelter, kinda hard to see, but up on top of that hill over there, I believe is where the shelter is, so we're almost there. I'll probably come back and get water after it <laughs> clears a little bit from the doggies. A little lesson to you and me. I've been here many, many times, even this time of year in November, and um, this has always been flowing. We'll be able to get sufficient water, and it looked relatively clean, so that'll be okay. We'll be back here in a little bit. And here is the last very memorable hill up to the shelter. Shelter's at the top, right up, right up in that area somewhere. Tempted to go back and just get water. I think we'll go up there and come back down here in a bit without the back. That's a sight for sore eyes and legs. Right there's a the shelter. I forgot how nice that climb was. Now we gotta go back and do it to get water, but it settled in here and rest and then go back down and get some water. Did we make it, Bailey? Uh, well, it hadn't changed much. <laughs> well, there's the old uh, fox den shelter. That's home for the night. Yeah, we are geared up and ready to go. Bailey's excited. Pack doesn't seem to phase her a bit. Heading up the Fall Creek Trail. That's what the first chunk of it looks like. And this is our first view. It's been all uphill since the trailhead. As usual, I'm sure this doesn't really do it justice. It's pretty steep and it's pretty high altitude. We're approaching Lake Constantine, I think, at about four miles. We have reached our camp for night number one. This is home for tonight. There's mosquitoes bugging you, Jaden. Crazy dog. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it down there. There's actually hail. Bailey's chasing after him. Bailey, you got your foot in his face. Well, a little more of that hail. The weather's not so nice on starting on day number two here. The weather has definitely improved. The weather has deteriorated again. And it's cold. It's waiting it out. <laughs> it's pretty miserable. We're making a run for it. As dark as it's ever been in the direction we're going. We're quite sure if this is the trail. We think this is the trail. It's not blazed real well, so. Going down. And the reason we're going down is that was not the right trail. Hopefully we won't, uh, won't lose the dog in the process here. I don't know where we're going. It's maybe up by where that snow is, but I don't know where the path is. Not a bad view. Does that feel good? <laughs> Bailey found a little snow. I think this is what they call the home stretch. We step this climb. We're heading down that way. Well, here's the view as we head down. We got back down below tree line, and I think we're getting really close to Holy Cross City. 
We're home for the night, night number two in the Holy Cross Wilderness. This morning at day number three. It's just absolutely spectacular. And we are ready to go. And up yonder is where we came down from. Beautiful. We made it to Holy Cross City. We're heading up to Fall Creek Pass. There's a notch in the mountains and that's the pass. Plus it gives you a little better perspective. That is fancy pass. A little snow along the trail. That's the final push to fancy pass. We made it to the top of fancy pass and here's the view. Well, we're down off the pass a little bit. Almost looks like the sound of music. That's where we're heading, right down that canyon. Well, we made it to camp number three, barely. <laughs> Downhill to the car tomorrow. Pretty darn happy we got the tarp set up first. Not so bad. My spoiled dogs. This morning at day number four, the last day. We're hiking on day number four. Heading down the Cross Creek Valley. We could use a few blazes through here. Easy trail to get off of sometimes. We actually came down from out there. Not exactly the most uh, delicious looking water, tastiest looking water I've ever had, but uh, it'll do. The dogs don't quite understand it's our water source. Come on, Bailey. Well, I kind of mucked that up a little bit. I don't know if you can even see it, but there's actually a little bit of a flow. So I'm guessing this might be coming from a spring because it's bone dry up there. Maybe it's not such bad water off after all, but one thing I do know, it's the only water we have. And it's going to require a little dipping. Well, it's going to take a while. Let's see if I can find something a little deeper. This is a little better, <laughs> not much. We get about half a liter at a time. Too much debris in there. It actually looks relatively clean. I'm guessing it's coming from a spring. But just the worst part is there's just a bunch of leaves and stuff in it, but I've had dirtier water, that's for sure. All right, let's filter that. Drink some. Well, it took a while, but uh, we have four liters of filtered, four liters of dirty. Another liter of dirty and another half liter of filtered. Nine and a half liters of water. That should be that should be plenty. Now we get the joy of going back up that hill, but at least we're doing it without the pack this time. But we've got water now. Our situation has been improved. And the doggies are having fun chewing on sticks. Well, <laughs> we survived that climb up that hill. I am very glad that's the last time we're gonna have to do that on this trip. If you ever come and stay at the old Fox Den shelter on the Tecumseh Trail, you will remember that climb up <laughs> from the water source. It is definitely memorable, especially when you're carrying nine liters of water or a full pack or whatever. Lots of down trees around. Makes me really glad I brought my little saw. <laughs> Should have plenty of wood. Fire going in a little bit here. It is really nice having a picnic table, I have to admit. Kind of a luxury to be able to sit down and have a cushion on here and do all your chores kind of with the table.
for a bit. This won't be for another six, seven hours. <laughs> you don't handle downtime very well. Jaden handles downtime much better than you do. We are geared up and ready to go. Let's get it going. First hiking, backpacking of the 2018 season. We'll do the hidden arch loop, head down and take a look. That big blue mountain right there is the chance of rain. 99% <laughs> later today. They say a half an inch to an inch of rain possible, so hopefully they're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is Hidden Arch. So now we're heading downhill to the river. There's my dogs. It's really steep right here. Oh boy. Pretty at the river. Now we're on the rough trail. For a goodly bit here. <laughs> <laughs> Fix that. But those rocks are how we get to the other side. This is home for the night. <laughs> I'm a little concerned about being on the wrong side of the river. <laughs> if it rains as much as they say it might rain tonight, that river might be pretty tough to cross in the morning. You, 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 like being, you, you just like being with the boat though. <laughs> Bailey's, Bailey's ready for dinner number two. probably hear the rain has started. Day number one of the 2018 backpacking season is in the books. That is rain and that's what we've been hearing for about the last five hours. Uh -huh. You can't even really see how deep it is. The trail's over there. Bailey, come on Bailey, I don't even know what you're doing. Well, we're geared up and ready to go. We're gonna make a run for it before it starts raining again. Jaden's already going for it. Okay, here we go. The dogs have it figured out. <laughs> when I woke up in the middle of the night and looked at that stream, my heart just kind of like stopped because <laughs> I didn't know if it was gonna rise up enough that it was gonna flood our camp or what. But the dogs are still having fun. <laughs> it would take a lot for them not to have fun out in the woods. So. Guess what we get to do? Stream crossing number three. Dogs don't seem to mind. Actually, I don't either. My feet are so wet, it doesn't really matter. Hiking on the shelf that we trace. It's starting to rain again, so we're not, we're heading back to the car. I uh, was here in 2012. I captured a lot of video, but I never actually published a video of that trip. Maybe what I'll end up doing is splicing some of that footage together. <laughs> Way down there is where that river was. Well, here's the trail. This is the rough trail. We have reached what's called Signature Rock. We found another nice view. Look at this. <laughs> Jaden, Jaden, your pack's a little screwy. Oh, hey, let me fix it, buddy. Well, look at that little ledge. That's dangerous. Well, this is the kind of place that makes you realize we're not in Kansas anymore, Toto. <laughs> I'm not Jaden. <laughs> that is why we waterproof everything in Jaden's pack. Okay. Number four, guys. <laughs> We're back on the Coomer Ridge Trail. I remember going down this stretch. <laughs> wasn't wasn't easy. It's all been pretty much like this. Oh boy. We made it back to Coomer Ridge Campground. There's the car. We are hiking. Oh, that's a cool little side trail here. Moonshiner's Arch. So you can the other trail. Oh, I'm not sure pretty in. That is some sketchy stuff, man. <laughs> Haven't been filming what we've been having to do with the doggies, but it has not been easy. Well, that's the eagles. So we see the top now. We're camping up on top of that cliff. That's kind of, I guess, a trickle and not a falls, but it's coming down. 
We're getting ready to walk right into the heart of it. This is what the trail has become. <laughs> See the eagle's nest. Not a bad view. This is home for the night. I figure I'd give you a nice view of the water source with the 500 foot waterfall 10 feet over. I know you guys are hungry. Let's get a panorama here. Oh That's God. where they hop down and they go down to that. This area and it kind of flattens out. out you have that way. got to be kidding me. You ready to go back to the camp? <laughs> Bailey's like, I don't like being up here. You gotta tell her to be gentle or she forgets sometimes. You warming up, Bailey? Yeah. I see you, man. Yeah, you too. Sure, you yeah. were like way over here. And yeah. I was way over here. I got the I'm just like some real snow. <laughs> See you guys in the morning. All right, man. We're over there. Bailey, come on. Jaden. He's like, what do you want? Oh, man. Oh, man. I was man, tired. It hurt. All right, we'll see you guys. <laughs> Trying to find our way back to our tent site. Right there. We made it home for the night. Beautiful, crisp winter morning in the woods today. Give you some idea of the temperature. Jaden's not doing well. <laughs> say the least. He threw up this morning. He has, won't eat anything, which is really unusual for him. He's just not holding up well in these conditions, so I might be making this an overnight trip. Getting going on day number two. Might be our last day. Like a maze trying to do this so Jaden has an easier time of it. Let's take some creative trail finding. All oh, these trees now. This is what we've been doing. A lot of It's always a great sight. We made it back to the cars. Karen had a counselor that they were aiming for, I think Fox has been, and they ended up calling Kathy to come and get them. Motivated by food. We actually have three the phone. If I could have made the best of it. Okay. Oh, we were here November. Oh, okay. So we 9th of November. Okay. It is a lot cleaner than any of the other shelters yes. at any of the other properties. And it's always this clean. Yeah. yeah. And and always, always. And I've never been here when it wasn't clean. Yeah. Yeah. No, yes, everyone really takes good care of it. Do you have some favorite stretches? This like? stretch? This one? On the low gap and down through Bear Lake and yeah. all the way to here. Yeah, I love it. I love that this stretch. I think it's the most challenging stretch. I do too. The whole thing. Yeah. But it's also it's really secluded. And you rarely see anyone on it. Rarely. Yeah. Enjoy your stay. Thank you. Enjoy your, Enjoy your hike. Come here as much as you want. Appreciated the company. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was actually kind of a nice little visit. <laughs> Breaks things up a little bit when you're just out here by yourself. But we're going to do a little bit of lunch, trying something different. This is a bumblebee snack on the run chicken salad kit with crackers. It reminds me of doing the cheddar cheese spread, which we'll be doing a little bit later. <laughs> I'm sure we'll have no doubt. <laughs> Let's see how this is. Not bad. A lot going on compared to the chicken salad I make. They got all kinds of stuff in there. Nice little lunch. Way heavier than I would want to carry on a regular basis, but nice for a little change of pace. We're uh out exploring. We've been looking at the Gaia GPS and after talking with the people from the Lutheran Seminary that stopped by the shelter, they talked about getting uh, equipment up to the shelter to do maintenance on it using this road. It connects with another little service road up here and then that takes us down to the main road and we could make this hike into a loop instead of doing an out and back and there'd be a road walkie stretch on it but uh, it would be something different, I've never done this before. So I'm just gonna go up here a little bit and see what we find. Well, this blue line here is where we came. At the end of that blue line is where the shelter is. And up there is a little road that connects in with the whole road network stuff. So we've only been walking about a minute and we're already about halfway to it. So I figured we'd go up there and 
see what we find. I don't know if you can hear that. <laughs> it sounds like some sort of an ATV type thing. Well, we'll keep going a little bit here, but if that starts getting closer, I think I'm heading the other way. Well, I think I've learned what I needed to learn. I don't know if you can see that up ahead, that little white thing. That is some sort of a structure. So I don't think we're going to come this way. <laughs> I don't want to go through somebody's backyard. I thought maybe this trail would connect directly with that road and it does not appear to be the case. We're still only about halfway to it. I don't think we'll go that way. But now we know. It was a fun little adventure. Bailey's geared up and ready to go. Jaden is. Here's the scene. Oop, we, we are hiking. You excited, Bailey? It's the John Litton farm. We've reached our first uh, predicament. I think this is the only option we have to go here. Fall Branch Falls. We made it to the John Litton Farm. We're just getting in so far ahead of the storm. We are hiking for day number two. We're reaching the end of the, uh, it's called the Sunset Overlook. Bailey, 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 Bailey. Uh, here's the Sunset Overlook. Bailey, come here. We're on the Oscar Blevins Farm Loop. Whoa, you crazy dog. This is the Blevins farm. Made it to Needle Arch. You guys find a little pond. It makes me feel like we're hiking in Jurassic Park. She sure likes it. <laughs> Pretty neat. This is Slave Fall. Bailey doesn't like the suspension bridge. <laughs> we made it to the Sherritt Creek Lodge. I think they'll have fun. And then they're off again. <laughs> what, booger? Do you guys want in? I won't let you in. Oh, <laughs> okay, I guess you can come in. We're heading out. Sherritt Creek Trail. This goes straight up this little canyon that you can kind of see here. That's the operative word. <laughs> Sherritt Creek Lodge, Big South Fork. We'll be back. Tick duty here. Okay, just took about five ticks off me. <laughs> wow. nice. This, I believe, is the John Muir overlook. You okay, Jaden? He uh, decided to do that on his own and it did not go well. Look what we found. Doggies are happy again. After much searching, we have found our campsite for the night. I just grabbed a tip off my back. Jaden is relaxing. We're geared up and heading out on day number two. Nothing to it for Jaden, as long as the bridge isn't moving too much. Yeah, that's been kind of the theme of the trip. There's a big juicy tick. I don't know. geared up, ready to go on day number three. We take about three miles up to the car and this hike will be done. Uh, there you go. 
isn't it? There. Gives you some idea of the terrain we're in. We made it back to the car. So Always a good feeling. Well, I changed my mind. <laughs> I was looking at the map and realized the scale of it. We were only like 200 feet, 300 feet from the road that I was talking about going down. Went up and just kind of took a look at it. It's just a warehouse sort of thing. It's not somebody's house or anything. And the road, I don't know if you can see that white spot to the right of the building. That is the road. So I think that is exactly what we're going to do in the morning. It'll make this whole thing into a big loop that will just simplify things and speed things up tomorrow immensely and we won't have to retrace our steps because from a video standpoint, I already showed you all <laughs> for the most part. Heading back to the campground now. We'll get the fire going and start the evening activities. It's only about four o'clock, but I think it actually starts to get dark about seven now. Late season hiking kind of accelerates the evening schedule a little bit. About time to get the fire going. Oh no. Check your uh, lighter for fluid before you go on the trips. Another checklist item. I think I can certainly get the stove lit and then this lit. Let me work on that for a second. Uh, well, this is one of those times when it's nice to have a little stove with an igniter. Works quite well. There you go. Enough to get it going for a little while. All right, it is a cheddar cheese spread rehydration time. We'll just do a little one because it's just just awesome. We got all kinds of other food to eat, so it's not going to take a whole lot of water. A little more than that, probably. About an hour or so, and we'll be doing a little uh, sample of cheddar cheese spread. Spread time. Thank you. Thank you. I never get told on this for what ten plus years now, and still just as good as the first time we ever did it out in the woods. Got to be something about the campfire and the woods and. Mm. the trailhead final pack preparations here here's where we're hiking in to start off lots of views for first day I guess boardwalk sure is nice I don't know if I'd want to go a hundred yards of that stuff but that's what the dolly sods gets its name from Bailey takes the direction of zone all together we made it to our lunch break step and now we're into a little bit of a rock scramble. Bailey's taking care of the bug problem in camp. <laughs> we are geared up and ready to go. Dogs are, Dogs are definitely ready to go. <laughs> Interesting little section here. Jaden definitely has the right idea here. Ah, uh, the fun. 
fun begins. <laughs> That's gonna be a long two miles. Well, we made it to home for the night. <laughs> Jaden's hit the wall. Hit the first one, Jaden. And this is what it looks like outside the tent. We are packed up and ready to go. And we're hiking. Day number three. Gives you a little better indication maybe. Fun way to start the day. Like a enchanted forest in here. Came out on this. Two minutes later. We're into a completely different vegetation zone. Uh. Heading up into the clouds. It's coming and going. It's like we're just rolling through the clouds here. Last stream crossing. We have made it to the finish line in the cars. Heading to the car in the twilight zone. We made it. <laughs> well, for uh, dinner tonight, now we're doing real food. So that is a uh, filet mignon in a vacuum seal bag. It was frozen. This is uh, potatoes that I already cooked in a skillet with onions and peppers. Not a bad real dinner, and I'll probably split a good chunk of it with the doggies. That's the uh, not mountain house dinner tonight. Dinner is cooking. And you uh, kind of need a smell of vision for this. I'm cooking it kind of really slow because that's a pretty thick filet mignon. And I do have the potatoes in there now, so I'm just kind of heating those up along the side. Most of the heat's in the center of this pan. Ooh, flip it over. Doesn't look so bad for a backpacking meal, does it? The classic, it's not mountain house meal. But man, does that smell good. Ugh. All right, I think we are done. Just use this as our plate, I guess. Mm. Oh man, potatoes are awesome. Oh, steak is done perfectly. Not a bad setting either, huh? Nice campfire going. Probably won't be too much longer. I'll be in bed. Nice little dinner to wrap up. Well, this has been a pretty good day. I'll give you guys some. Looking at me like you're gonna chew off my leg or something. So I'll share with the doggies. It's the end of a really nice first day on Tecumseh Trail out here at the uh, Fox Den Shelter. A really pleasant night with the doggies. Absolutely perfect fall weather. Couldn't ask for anything more. Not even eight o'clock yet. <laughs> like late fall, winter backpacking takes getting used to because you've got to deal with some really, really long nights, especially when you're solo. Bonus extra day out in the woods that I didn't know if it was going to happen. Or I don't know if this was Jaden's last ever backpacking trip. I just don't know. He handled it okay, and he's doing okay now. It's the end of a really nice day, number one, night number one. We'll get going on. Uh, Day number two tomorrow. In that way, Jaden. It's the best dog you ever. Final gear preparations. Bailey's playing fetch. <laughs> First time I've ever played fetch with her before a backpacking trip. We are hiking. We found some water for the doggies. They're happy again. <laughs> oh, this creeps me out. It reminds me of Big South Fork or Red River Gorge. Jaden, yes, <laughs> Jaden, Bailey, don't go so close. You get him, Jaden. <laughs> Show off. Jaden would be very happy to stay right here for the night. <laughs> My two doggies. That's the Hobbs cabin. Always a nice site. It means home for the night. Home for the night. Campsite number one at the Hobbs cabin campground. Wait, get your tongue out of there. <laughs> wait, wait. That's, that's Jaden's. 
And Carol has acquired a couple of friends. Now we're heading over to uh, Allen Gap Campground for the night tonight, about 10 miles. We think. This apparently is what we've got in store for us. Uh, this is kind of what the trail is right now. Yeah, feel good, Jada. There we go. One more time. Man, I hope we don't have too many more of those, man. I just think you come this way. <laughs> oh, the good dog. Well, it's kind of a double-edged sword here. We got another bridge to go across, but we also have water. Before I get totally out of breath, just thought I'd show you what we're going to be going up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Uh, I just don't know. Her. Yes, this is the way the trail goes, so we're going up through the stone door. That's what it looks like. Whoa. Come on, Bailey, come on, stay back. Oh my gosh. Jane, come on, guys. <laughs> Do not like that one bit. Campsite number eight. This is our home for the night. Cold milk this morning. <laughs> we are geared up and ready to go. Uh, this is where we'll be hiking today, Laurel Trail, 2.9 miles to the ranger station. Well, look at what we found. Ranger Station. And then there's the car. It's always a good feeling. We're just hanging in the shelter. It is still oh dark 30 out there. It's actually about 6.30. It is actually raining <laughs> on and off. It's actually one of those uh, little events when you're sitting in a shelter like this that makes you decide to just Stay in the warm sleeping bag for a little while. The doggies are content to just hang out here too. Not much we can really do until at least it starts getting a little bit lighter in the sky here. Joy, I guess, of backpacking in mid to late October or later. You get some really long nights. Getting ready to get going on uh, day number two here. Once the sun comes up a little bit. My donkeys. <laughs> you shall feel good. You said a good way to wake up in the morning. It's 7 o'clock, and uh, there isn't the faintest hint of any lightness in the sky yet. Anyways, might as well get rolling on the day here. It'll gradually start to get lighter, get some coffee and a little bit of breakfast, and then we'll head on our way, get an early start to this day. There's one really nice thing about having a shelter, especially if it's raining, you should be able to pack everything up inside here. It's just kind of like a joy. You're going to help. You always want to supervise. <laughs> I don't know how many other people have done this many times getting ready in the dark, but this is a completely different experience for me. Doable, probably good practice. Hike this time of year, I think you're going to have to do this occasionally. Oh, it's pretty, it's pretty in the dark. Having one of those panic moments. I can't find the coffee. Oh, this is my original MSR drip filter. <laughs> <laughs> I think I bought this in 2009. It's got holes in it a little bit, but uh, it's not that complicated. It still works just fine. All right. My very full cup of Dunkin' Donuts coffee. I was trying to think if this was, if I've ever had Dunkin' Donuts coffee in the dark before, and I don't think I ever have. And I was a quickie, just a overnighter out here on the Tecumseh Trail, and 
October 2021, but man, what a gorgeous day yesterday. Nice, pleasant experience once again in the shelter. Getting going on day number two on the Tecumseh Trail. We are geared up and ready to start hiking. We're hiking in the Cranberry Wilderness. Another stream crossing. We've had a bunch of these. Well, this one's a little more challenging. I think we're doing the bob and weave technique here. A little more challenging one here. I think we found our campsite, but we're trying to figure out how to get to it. We have found our home for the night. He's happy to be in camp. My dogs are loyal to whoever has the food. I have to have some time to relax and get them. That one? Yeah, that Take that one over to Jake. Jake, Carl's, take, Carl's taking one for the team here. So I'm, oh, like, okay. I'm like, I'm totally like melting. <laughs> Feel that. Working. We are geared up and ready to go for day number three. It's just spitting rain. We are hiking. <laughs> That's what we've been having to do on these. Gives an indication of what we've been doing. Mud, lots of it. Down trees, lots of them. Uh, yes, this is in fact the North-South Trail. This is home for the night. <sighs> Feels awfully good to be in camp. Is looking pretty good with the thunder in the background. Oh, that's so good. Mm -hmm. Salty and set up the tarp. Oh, we got it set up yeah. right before this rolling wave of uh, rain came in. Now, you're supposed to count the seconds. You say this is in the category of I have two really spoiled dogs. Late rotation, too tired to get up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think the storms have probably passed if you want to do it. Mm. Beef stroking off around the little stick fire. Yeah. What do you think, Jade? Oh. I can't believe how well Jade's doing after today. Good day. Yeah, hard day. Bailey says good morning. With you woken up with TV kisses in the morning. <laughs> There's my dog. We are geared up, ready to go. Here's the camp. This is what we hit. Right after camp. Gives you some idea of the terrain and it's like a haunted woods sort of feel to it. Yes, here's the trail. Kind of beats you down after a while. Look at the setting we are hiking in. A lesson in trail conditions in Cranberry Wilderness. This is very illustrative of what we've been going through. Car is parked right there, north-south trailhead. That is always a welcome sight. <laughs> and I don't mean just the dogs, the cars. We made it back to the cars. Well, we are packed up. The camera's making this look a lot lighter than it is, but it has lightened up enough that Walking is possible without a headlamp. <laughs> I'll probably still keep it in my pocket because the woods are kind of dark this morning. But let's get hiking. Day number two on the Tecumseh Trail. Here we go. Now we're geared up. Pack on. We're going to head up this way. We're going to do a little exploring and try to head up to that forest road and then head that down to the main road. So a little different hike today. I'm not sure how much we'll be filming. But it's a dark boony trip down through the woods here to get the day started. Here we go. Day number two. Okay, <laughs> you see the forest road kind of continues right up through here, so 
That is what I'm going to do. And then that white spot back there, I believe, is the road we're looking for. So, first little adventure of the morning. That's what that was. Walnut Ridge Retreat Center. I think it used to be called Bear Lake Lodge. And I don't think there's anybody there. I didn't see any lights on or any sign of activity. It was a little freaky going by, but now we're on. This is actually the, this is the trail. <laughs> this goes down to a, basically the road that the car is parked on. This will be our hike for today. And I don't know, this is probably lightening it up, but it is really gloomy. <laughs> it looks like it could just pour down rain anytime, although the weather's actually improving. It's supposed to get partly cloudy and then partly sunny after that. I think things are actually improving, but if the temperature is dropping like it's supposed to, it sure doesn't feel like it. It's in the low 60s and very humid, really humid. Feels like a rainforest almost. I don't know if you can see it real well, but there's a little house and there's another one kind of up here. And I think what these are maybe are rental cabins out here. But heading down this way and the uh, Bear Creek Road, which is where the car is parked, is down just around the corner down there, about a thousand feet down. A lot easier trails than what we were hiking yesterday. Yeah, I just had a little excitement right here. We had about four deer go right across the road, got Bailey all wound up. Probably hard to see through the woods up there, but that's the intersection with the Bear Creek Road. And then that takes us right to the car. I'm not sure how far, probably a couple miles. We made it to the trailhead. This is the Chia Trailhead for the Pinati Trail. Katie's ready to hike. She's all geared up. We are hiking. Get this hike going. Beautiful day in the woods for hiking. How's this for a campsite with a nice view? That's incredible. What a view. Just to give a little perspective to what it's become here. Help me, Bailey. <laughs> oh, wow. Check this out. This is a plane crash. I take it all four died. Yeah. Oh, that kind of gives you a creepy feeling about this, this guy. Place, this isn't the easiest trail to hike, and this kind of gives you some perspective on it. This is some really hard hiking. Oh, stay away from the edge, Bailey. Bailey. Bailey, come here. You paid a heavy price for it, but a pretty nice view. We have finally made it to the junction. I think I got a thirsty doggy. Take it nice, take it. <laughs> take it nice. That was not nice. Jaden, where you at here, doggy? That, that is nice. This is like nirvana for them. When they think of their whole life and have memories of their whole life, oh. this is what they're gonna be thinking about. Yeah, I got two happy dogs that are gonna wake up once we start eating the hot dogs. Bar closes up. Never thought I'd be having hot dogs. On the no, top of a mountain no. in Alabama. <laughs> I think good. David and Travis are going to be a Jaden and Bailey. Here <laughs> we got the bacon steer going on. You're getting some. You're not getting a lot. There you go. Another crappy day in the Chia wilderness of Alabama. We get rolling. Day number two. Here we go. We don't have the the rock. Rocks from yesterday, but this is what we do have. This is Cave Creek. I think we have found our home for the night. Very nice. And uh, check out that view. Opening of the spam. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Look at Jaden. Bailey's Jayden. so intense. Jaden's like, looks pretty good to me. And it won't take much. Thank you. Watch your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Great fire. That's awesome. That, was yeah, cold, that makes man. all the difference in the world. <laughs> you ready to go? Your pack's empty, isn't it? <laughs> What's <laughs> we are packed up here. Ready to go. Ready to get warm. <laughs> We're hiking. Day number three. Nice little view to start the morning, and some sunshine. 
Oh, no matter how many times you do it, that is always a great sight with that Chia Trail Trailhead. We made it back to the cars. Yeah. This is the uh, Bear Creek Road. Uh, we head up this way for a couple miles, probably. There's your bottle daily. This is the intersection of, I guess we were actually on Richards Road, and this is Bear Creek Road, which is where the cars parked. And Richards Road is actually what we crossed yesterday, not long into the hike. I think we've got less than a mile to go. Oh, you think you yourself, oh, that road walk, yeah. But I'll tell you what, this has really been a good call. It's only been a couple cars that we've seen. I've been able plenty of time to see them and get the dogs off the road. It's been relatively safe. I was a little worried about that. The rural Indiana scenes that you see out here. We are so far back in the backwoods of rural Indiana. No paved roads out here, really. Everything is hard packed, kind of dirt stuff. It's been pretty pleasant hiking. It's been really nice for Jaden because yesterday was pretty tough on him. He handled it okay, but it's nice to give him a break on some, you know, a little nicer terrain and smoother roads. going by some really barky dogs right there. That is the car. It's the last little hill up to the Bear Lake Dam trailhead and then the trail actually goes up here so I'm gonna get off this road for the last hundred yards here. We made it back to the car. No matter how long the trip or where you go it always feels nice to get back to the car. So there you have it. Sixth trip of the 2021 season the Tecumseh Trail in Indiana is in the books. Certainly didn't have the majestic views that we had out in the Wind River Range in July but for Indiana it's really a pretty beautiful area. Couldn't ask for better weather and even that road walky stuff that we did here on the last day turned out to be pretty pleasant with some really backwoods rural Indiana scenery and we sort of did this one for Jaden. Wasn't sure how he would do but he held up extremely well. We had some rough terrain a little over four miles yesterday, a little easier stuff today, but he held up extremely well. Not sure if this will be his last trip or not. Not sure if he's going to be able to make it into next year doing trips, but at least for this one, it was a rousing success. The Tecumseh Trail, one of the better trails that we have in Indiana, and it was also a great hike.